It is getting cold out here, boy. I am not looking forward to this cold ass weather, man. I'm just not looking forward to it. <sighs> Shit. Yep. First, this is my first time seeing my breath in the air. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not looking forward to this fucking shit, man. I'm really not, man. Oh, my God. But uh, this is going to be a video titled uh, talking about dating mentally unstable women, right? So it's like this, right? Huh. You know how... You know how, um, like, the seasons change. We have summer, winter, fall, spring, and all of that. You know you know how, like, the weather changes or, or, like, the seasons change or whatever? When you're dealing with a mentally unstable woman, they're, they're similar to the weather. They change all the time, right? So... Uh, I believe, yeah, so I was just thinking about, you know, which I already got a video about, you know, this girl, but she, yeah, she was probably the worst girl I ever dated so far. You know, the girl I, was, I talked about during the whole prom situation, about my whole prom situation and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, she was a girl that, um, I, I mean, I already, I already got a story time about it. So I ain't going to go into full detail. I'm going to just, you know. I'm going to just say a part that that relates to the topic. But, yeah, see, she was a girl who, um, you know, uh, she had she she used to get molested because she was in foster care. She used to get molested. Uh, she had a mother who was abusive, who used to who used to uh, burn her with cigarettes and, on her back and stuff. And um, a lot of things like that. And it's like. What happens to you as a child will affect you in adulthood. It it will affect you in adu in adulthood. And this goes for men and women. I mean, look at shows like Naruto, where all those kids who had those sad-ass backstories and see how that affected them as an adult. So anybody who has experienced trauma as a child, that's going to come out in adulthood. Uh in some form or fashion some people experience worse some people have experienced less but that still plays a factor in in how they behave as an adult that's why a child being a good parent when a, uh, when somebody is a child is very crucial because that because you're setting the stones for how they're going to behave as an adult but anyways this is the reason why you should not date a mentally unstable woman or unstable girl, because they're just mentally, <laughs> they're just that mentally unstable. They're mentally unstable. Girls are already very emotional as is even a girl who didn't experience sexual abuse or or uh, or domestic abuse. Even a girl like that can be a little shaky. So you add that on top of a girl who has experienced uh, sexual assault or and then and then uh, domestic abuse. And on top of that, her father wasn't in her life either. So that was also some probably some sadness right there also. So when you add that, when you stack all that shit on top of together, like that nigga that said, you like you put everything on your burger. Right. When you stack in, when you stack all that on top of each other like that. Like a nigga that puts everything on his burger, right? It just creates a disaster. It creates a disaster. And the girl that I and the girl that I'm referring to, that I talked to in high school, it was like there would be glimpses of her that will, that will pop out. There would be glimpses at times that 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 will pop out where I'm like, yo, this is how she would truly act if she did not have all that trauma. There would be like at moments glimpses of of who she truly could become, and I just like I like I kind of feel like if she didn't go through that shit, that she would potentially be like a really cool person, because there would be glimpses where at times, like the person that I wanted her to be will pop out. At times, it will pop out. You know, 
it will pop out at times. I'm like, oh man, if she, man, if she, if she, if she act, um, cold as fuck. If she would act like this twenty four seven, you know, then she'll actually be a cool girl to be around. But it's just when a person has been through all of that, they can't they can't be like that all the time. And it's that's why it's really not good to date girls that are mentally unstable. You can be that you, you can be cool with them, right? But dating them is that's a whole nother ball game. Right? Cause I was gonna I was gonna ask her out. But I you know, <laughs> some things happened. I'll explain it in the story time. And that was what that was what that was what deterred me from even pursuing that situation. So this is why you just don't date women that are mentally unstable. <laughs> I'm not saying that you can't be there for them and help them through their situation, but getting into a getting into a romantic investment with that, it's just going to be a disaster. Cause you feel sad. Oh, I feel sad. What happened? Oh, I feel sad. I feel sad for you. Some shit like that, and then you get invested. No, I I just wouldn't recommend doing that. Because she she had to take antidepressants and all sorts of pills just to just to make her act normal. And, and, and I'm not fucking talking shit about her because I understand what she went through in her life. But she had to take fucking pills and take all these fucking medications just to fucking somewhat keep her fucking mind from fucking shattering or some shit. And that's a lot to deal with. That's a lot of a that's a lot of a burden to deal with. Dating a chick who is like that. Where any they're like a ticking time bomb. Any given time they can explode. Right, they just mentally unstable women are very confusing. I mean, even a girl who's not mentally unstable can be confusing, but but a girl who's mentally unstable, very confusing. They say this and then say that and then say this and then do this and then do that and then say that. They're all over the fucking place. You you don't know what the fuck they're doing, what the fuck they're talking about. That they're not logical at all. You're like, what the fuck are you even talking about? You know what I'm saying? It is all over the place. Um, they don't have any semblance of rationality. I don't know, man. It's just girls like that are just hard to deal with. You know? Because they're not rational. They say something and they think that what they're saying actually m- makes sense. But in reality, you ask any motherfucker who has common sense, they're going to tell you, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? <clears throat> and a lot of times they can do shit <clears throat> that they know they shouldn't have done, but then they st- but then they put it on you. Like when the girl was talking to me and my homeboy at the time, she was talking to both of us at the same time. And then when we caught her out on it, she tried to make it seem like... Like, we're tripping and make it seem like we're the problem. When in reality, motherfucker, that answer stink. When in reality, motherfucker, you're talking to me and my homeboy at the same time. And you had knew that we were cool. Like, you had knew that we was cool with each other. But yet, you're talking to both of us at the same time. And you try to make it seem like you wasn't talking to nobody else. But yet you talking to me and him at the same fucking time. And then when, when we call you out, they try to see girls who are mentally unstable. They will try to put the shit back on you. They'll do some shit like they can. Let's say if you which I'm glad I didn't date her because I'm pretty sure because she's a cheater. Right. <clears throat> you know, a girl who's mentally unstable. She will cheat on you. You know, and then she and then make it seem like you're the reason why she cheated. Oh, well, well, if you didn't fucking if you didn't do this, you know, I wouldn't have called over fucking John and I I wouldn't have right and and I wouldn't have wrote his dick. So this is technically your fault that I did. And they'll try to put they'll try to fucking do a uno reverse card and put it back on you. Like they didn't do, like they didn't commit the act of cheating. They'll try to put the shit on you. 
And a lot of mentally unstable girls, they are very good. Uh, they are very good at at manipulating situations to make you, to, you know, and they're very good at gaslighting to where they'll make you truly feel that, oh, shit, maybe this is my fault. But in reality, no, motherfucker, she's the one that cheated. She, even if there was some things that led her to doing it, she's still committing the act. She still committed the act. It's not your fucking fault. The fuck? She the one that did it. And that's how a lot of mentally unstable girls are. I'm not saying that's every single one. I don't want to say that's every single one. But a good portion of them behave in this manner. Right? This is how mentally unstable girls behave. They're, they, they're, they, are a, they are a bag of emotions. They, they're, they're a bag of emotions. They're on a emotional roller coaster. One, one, one minute they can be super fun, super cool as fuck, super fucking cool and nice to be around. Oh yeah, man. You know, today was a nice day. And then next day they angry as fuck, mad about something, <gasps> angry about some d stupid shit. Hmm? Hmm? Would you leave me alone? <laughs> They could be angry about something. They could be angry. You know, now they're bitching, bitchy, very bitchy, you know. And just like Ice Cube said, Ice Cube, he said something like, he said, not every woman's a bitch, but every woman got a little bit of bitch in them. That's real shit. It's not the title, bitch, don't apply to all women, but all women have a little bitch in them. Every woman. That's actually facts. <laughs> not every not every woman's a bitch, but every woman got a little bit of bitch in them. That's actually facts. So every woman has a certain degree of bitchiness. Some are higher, some are lower. But with the girl I'm referring to, she had a high amount of bitchiness. So one day she'll be cool as fuck. Next day, she's very bitchy. <laughs> bitchy about some shit. And then the next day, she's extremely sad about something, which is understandable. And it's just, it, it was just always back and forth. You never knew what kind of character she was going to be e each time you saw her. It was always a new character or a new fucking, uh, a new person all, all the time. And that shit is not, that's not consistent. That, that's not consistent. I understand humans that we have, that we feel different emotions. I, I get that. I, I could be happy today. Tomorrow, I could be mad or something. But the thing is, like I said, the difference between me and other people is, is like, you know, it's not, or with women in particular, it's like I don't show that shit and just, and just let that shit out. Like, like this, uh, I don't let that shit out just so much to where it's just, I'm just like, to, you know, like, like, for example, if I'm having a bad day, I just stay home. I just stay to myself. I don't, I don't, I just stay to myself. I don't try to let other people, uh, I don't try to put that emotion on other people. Cause that, that's what could happen if you don't either, either isolate yourself or, or if you don't find a way to let that emotion out in a healthy way. So if I'm having a bad day, if I'm feeling some type of way, I just stay to myself. I don't even try to motherfucking 
let that shit out on somebody else. Because that's not you're not supposed to do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, man, it's just it's just crazy. <laughs> you're not supposed to <coughs> oh, damn. You know? You know? And and with girls like that, it's like, at the end of the day, bro, you can't make a girl like that happy. They have to find that happiness within themselves. There's nothing you can do to make a woman like that happy. They are, you know, they have to do that shit themselves. No matter how many times you try to tell them, hey, you know, I like you or something or whatever, they're going to always think that you're lying or because I guess they they've been used to being lied to, I guess, or so I don't fucking know. But it, it, that's what I'm talking about. That mentally, that mental unstableness cannot uh, cannot allow them to be in a proper relationship without all of this BS. And I understand relationships ain't perfect. I get that. But when a person is mentally unstable and even men can be mentally unstable also. But like I said before, I'm a heterosexual speaking from a heterosexual male perspective. If I was a woman, I'd be talking about, oh, unstable men. Or if I was bi, I'll talk about both. I'm talking from a heterosexual male perspective. So with that being said, I'm not saying that men cannot cannot also be mentally unstable because I've met some that were. But I'm speaking from a male heterosexual perspective. Just to make that clear for someone to take my shit out of context. Oh, you talking. Uh, well, men can be mentally unstable. I know that, motherfucker. I'm just talking specifically about women for this video. So, yeah, man. It's just not. It's just. I mean, I ain't going to tell you not to date a girl like that. If you want to, that's your choice. But just understand, if that's what you choose to do, you're going to deal with stuff like this. <laughs> Emotions are constantly flip-flopping all over the fucking place. One minute, I'm happy. Oh, hey. Next minute. Oh, the Next minute. Oh, the it all, all the fucking... Is this? <laughs> it's, just, it's just all the fucking time, bro. <laughs> All the fuck is this gonna be a a constant roller coaster of emotions all the damn time, bro? All the damn time, bro. It's like God damn. They they could do something wrong and they'll blank put it on you. Oh, well, you're the reason why you know, and they the one that did some shit. They they could they could have did something uncalled for, and they gonna make it seem like you're the reason. They have no accountability whatsoever. They they can't take accountability for their actions. Very stubborn. They they'll have you apologizing for some shit you ain't even fucking do. You ain't even do nothing. But they'll make you apologize or make you feel bad that you apologize for some shit that you didn't even do. You didn't even do nothing. You didn't even do anything. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that, babe. I'm sorry. But in reality, you you didn't even do shit. It was her who did the bullshit. You didn't even do nothing. Gas lighters. A lot of them are gas lit people. Gas lighters. Have no account of, And people like that. Really, to be honest, yeah, I don't really think, I mean, I'm not going to tell I me mean, do what you want to do, but it's just not, for me, I really wouldn't date a girl like that, to be honest. That's why sometimes when you date and you have these bad dating experiences, sometimes a lot of them are, are, are just a learning. Yeah, make sure, if you ever date someone, make sure that you try to learn something from it. Now, some things, you know, you know. You could be dating somebody and then things just don't work out and y'all go y'all separate way. And it wasn't nothing too crazy. And y'all y'all stopped talking on good terms. But let's try to if if you can, try to learn something from each situation that you're in. Try to learn something from something like that. You know. A lot of girls that are emotionally unstable, 
Uh, like, uh, you know, some of them can be controlling. You know, some of them can try to be, con they can be controlling or something like that. Or with the girl I'm talking to, she was very jealous. Like she, she was very jealous, even though she was talking to, 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 to different men. Like, like she's one of those people. Oh, I want to talk to different people, but I want you to be loyal to me. Like, so yeah, you know, yes, I could talk to like five men, but I want you to only talk to me. It's like some shit like that. You know, it's like, bro. So, okay. You can talk to like five minute at five minute at a time. But if I talk to another chick, even though we're not even together, we're not even together. You're going to get upset about that because, oh, yes, I want to talk to five men, but I want you to only talk to me. I don't want you to talk to no one else but me. Yes, I could talk to other men. Yes, I could fuck other men, but you have to only talk to me only. So that right there is narcissism right there. Selfishness. Very, they can be jealous. They can be controlling. If you don't put a girl that is a mo, oh, that sun feel good. Oh yeah, whoo, it's cold as fuck. Yeah, that sun feel good right here. Oh hell yeah, whoo shit, whoo. See this is see this is how this is see this is what happens when you get the winter blues. The sun's not out because the sun can you know that can affect your mood. Just not having no sunlight. It's just cloudy all the fucking time. And you can't take no damn walks and go outside. Ooh, shit. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Ooh, shit. Yeah, that, 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 that feels good. Ooh, man. Ooh. That, that feels good, man. Hell, yeah. That feels awesome. Whew. But, yeah. A lot of girls that are mentally unstable, they can be very controlling. And, 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 and if you don't put them in their place... They're going to start trying. They're going to little by little start trying to control you. They're going. They're going to start trying to control you. Little by little, if you don't stop that shit while it first starts to fucking happen. Oh, you know, like uh, what happened? Yeah, like, <laughs> like there was times where um, I guess she thought I was texting. Up she thought I was texting other girls or something, and then she'll take my phone and some sh like she'll like she'll take my phone and literally she will run off with my phone and and fucking hide my phone and fucking not give it back or some shit like that. Well, you talk. I don't want you. Well, you're, well, you're texting other girls, you know. And sometimes I think I was, and sometimes I wasn't. It was just she just assumed I was. But the point is. If we're not together, I can do what the fuck I want to do. We, we're not even dating. We're talking, but we're not officially. I have not officially asked you out. So you're not my girlfriend. If I So if I want to talk to someone else, I have the right to do that because we have not officially made anything official. So what the fuck are you doing? But that's just kind of part. Oh, you're talking to other women. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. It's just dumb. Right? So yeah, they could be very they, they could be very controlling also. Try to control certain things in your life. And those are kinds of women that I can't stand. Don't fucking try to control me. You're not gonna control me. You're not going to control me. You're not gonna tell me what I can do, what I can't or can't do. Especially if we're not even fucking together, you're not going to tell me, oh, you can't do that. And, and, and try and, and, and try to threaten me with something. Oh, well, and, 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 and they'll give you a ultimatum. Oh, well, if you don't do this, then I'm leaving. Or if you don't do this, then I'm going to do this or whatever. It's like, bro, if you're going to fucking do that shit, do it. Just, just fucking do it. You know, <laughs> you know. Try to control you or give you an ultimatum. Oh, if you don't do this, then I'm gonna fucking leave. And I, and, and, and I'm not saying. And, and the thing is, you know, I mean, uh, ultimatums aren't necessarily a bad thing if it makes sense. Hey, don't fucking don't treat me like shit. Or I'm leaving. 
That's fine. Because that's, that's actually valid. Don't treat me like shit or I'm leaving. Okay, that's actually... But when it's... Oh. Uh, don't fucking... Oh, don't fucking text other girls or I'm not talking to you or some dumb shit like that. You know? That's just stupid. Because it's like... Bro, we're not together, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like bro but yeah man yeah control I mean not yeah those kind of women can be controlling I'm not saying controlling women yeah they can be controlling try to control shit <clears throat> yeah I'm actually glad me and her never got together because that would have been a fucking headache that, that would have been a headache and that's the thing about a lot of women. They, they could be they could be headaches, man. They could drive you nuts, a lot of these women. They could just drive you insane. Drive you nuts. I'm glad I never asked that bitch out. You know? And she's just a lot to deal with. I mean, yes, I, I can understand why she acts like that. But I ain't trying to deal with none of that. It's like due to the fact that I'm like a, I'm you know, I'm like a, I mean I, I mean yeah you know yeah due to the fact that that I'm an empath, you know, you know, and if it's a person that you care about, you know, you want to help them, you want to help them achieve their full potential, but a lot of the girls like that man, some girls maybe maybe you can help them, but a lot of them. You aren't going to be able to help them with that shit. They're going to show glimpses of, man, if she was, if she was act like this all the time, she'll be the perfect girl. But they have too much baggage, too much trauma. Now, now all of us has a certain level of baggage because when you live in this world long enough, you're going to have baggage. You know, you're like, you're going to this world. This world affects everybody. This world is bad. It's, it, it's a piece of shit. It's going to affect every human being that lives on it. So of course, everybody's going to have a certain level of baggage. Certain level of baggage. Certain level of uh, negative stuff. But, you know, don't date a chick where she's just... <laughs> all. Where she's just negative all the fucking time. You know? You know, all the damn time, bro. It's just, man, bro. When a person goes through something like that, there's nothing you can do. You can try your hardest. A lot of girls like that, you just can't help them. Even though you're trying to. They're, even though you're trying to help them, they're gonna view you, they're gonna view you as the enemy. They're going to view you as the enemy. They're going to view you, even though you actually care about them. You actually, you actually care about the girl. You actually do care about her. She's going to look at you like you're the, you're the enemy. They're going to look at you like you're, that you're, a, that you're evil, even though you're actually trying to fucking help them. Yo, what's wrong? Yo, you know, how can I help? What's wrong? You know, you're trying to actually help them, but they're going to think, oh, you're, fuck you. Because that, that's what people, that's what us humans do sometimes. Sometimes we take out our anger on the wrong people. The people that care about us the most, even I've done this, people that care about you the most, you'll take out your anger on them. And that's just not right. <clears throat> so, a lot of girls like that, man, are just hard to deal with, man. <clears throat> that's why... You shouldn't ask a girl out until you fully get to know who the fuck they are. Don't do it within the honeymoon phase of the first month or the first whatever. Wait, because people put on a mask. Like I said in the, in the last video, they put on a mask. A lot of these girls will come out, hey, hi. But then once you get to know them, then it's just pure chaoticness. Like I, like, I, like, I could just picture if we was dating, I, I could just picture the headache. She'll try to control me, tell me, uh, 
So I don't even fucking know. Try to control me and stuff. <clears throat> Imagine if we actually moved in together. Should we try to control some shit? Oh, you know, try to tell me what to do. Oh, you can't, you can't play that video game. Oh, you know, uh, yeah, you can't play that game or, oh, you can't talk to these people or some shit, man, get the fuck out of here. I'm doing the fuck I want to do. But I understand when you get into a relationship, a relationship is about compromise. You can't fully do what you want to do when you were single. So there are some things where you are going to have to consider your partner. I'm not saying that, oh, I'm going to just, you know, like if we hypothetically, if we did, if we did get together, I'm going to, oh, I'm just do what I want. You can't, you know, I ain't going to compromise one sec. One, I ain't going to compromise anything. No, you have, you have to compromise a little bit, but don't just think you're just going to just boss me around. Like a fucking boss at work and tell me, oh, don't do this and do this and all this dumb shit. The fuck out of here. No. If you have a concern, you can voice it and I'll take it into consideration. But you're not going to demand me to do any damn thing. Yeah. So, yeah, some controlling girls, they're, they're narcissistic. Like I said, if you have a friend group or people that you cool with and let's say every once in a while y'all hang out. Due to the fact that she's a narcissist, she's going to try to take you away from your friends. Oh, you can't you can't hang out with them. No. You know, and now you stop hanging out with your friends because this dumbass motherfucker is trying to take you away from your fucking friend group. Because she's selfish. <laughs> And that's what I'm talking about. That's why I don't date girls like that. But like I said, though, that's why I said you have to wait a while before you even ask the bitch out because she's not going to reveal that until it's been a certain amount of time. She's going to hide that shit. That's that's what people do. People wear a mask. Even a dude who pretends to be, oh, I like you, girl. But he but he, he's a player. But he's just putting on a mask to make it seem like he's to make it seem like he's better than what he actually is. Right? Wearing a mask. That's that's, that's what these kind of women do. They they wear a mask. And that's why I really don't talk to women like that because I know that's this is how a lot of women are. Not necessarily, they're just mentally unstable creatures. Mentally unstable. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about their damn self. They're very irrational creatures. Very irrational. Very, very illogical. And they don't make no fucking sense. Most of the fucking time. They just go with their feel. Oh, this is how I feel. Even though I, I can sympathize with how you feel and I can understand how you feel, that still does not give you a pass to behave irrationally. Still doesn't give you a pass. I understand. I get it. The trauma, the the, the sexual abuse, the, the, the abuse of your mother, no dad in your life. I can understand. But that does not give you a pass to behave irrationally. That does not give you a pass to treat me bad when I'm actually trying to fucking help. When I'm actually just trying to offer a helping hand. I'm just fucking trying to help. Right? And that's, that, and that's the crazy part about it. You know? You're actually trying to help them. You're actually trying to, you know, help them. But the abuse they face is just, and like I said, women before are already emotional. So just add on top of that trauma. It's just going to be a, just a disaster. A disaster. <laughs> you know? And then sometimes, 
the thing about it, sometimes women like this, they will sometimes acknowledge like, oh, damn, like, okay, I shouldn't have done that. You know, because there was a time where she did some shit and I was like, yo, you know, some shit. I, I, I was like, yo, why'd you do that? She's like, oh, you know, uh, you know, I didn't take my, my, my antidepressants, you know, and, and that was why I did that or some shit. So she had acknowledged that what she did was wrong, but even though they can acknowledge it, they'll still do it again because it was unstable. Sometimes they will acknowledge what they did. Oh, you know, I shouldn't have did that. But most of the time, they're going to do it again. They're going to they're going to do something, apologize for it, and then do it then do it again. Like, oh damn, I shouldn't. Have, but, but 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 they still going to do it again. That's why for girls like that, it's just best that y'all like. You know, you just leave them alone. You got to leave girls like that alone until they're able to fucking get a grasp on that shit. Now, yes, they can never 100% heal from that 100%. That will always be a part of them. But they still have to learn to have a grasp on it. If you just completely mentally unstable, that's not good, man. We y'all arguing, because the girl I'm talking about, we'll have, we'll have fucking arguments over or some shit or whatever. And she the one that, she's the one that did the damn bullshit. And that's the thing about a lot of women. They'll do some dumb ass shit, and then they'll put the shit on you. Yeah, well, it's your fault. You know? Damn. <laughs> squirrels <laughs> they'll do some dumb shit and then put the shit on you especially me since I'm a rational dude I'm not abusive or or uh, or yeah I'm not abusive you know I'm not going to treat you like garbage I'm not going to put my hands on you you know I'm not going to really cuss you out like that I mean, that, that that could possibly happen if I was, like, really, 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 really fucking irritated. Yeah, and that's only that's only if the the girl is provoking me to do that. It's not that, like, oh, I'm mad, and then I'm just talking talking to you, making you feel like garbage. Because I don't do that. I don't, oh, yeah, you're ugly. You're, you're nothing and all that. I ain't going to make you feel like that. I ain't going to give you those bad affirmations. You know, I'm just saying there is a chance I could do it if I was just provoked to the ultimate level. I'd say, bitch, shut the fuck up. I mean, I, I mean, I, I haven't said that yet, but I'm saying there is a chance that I could be provoked to say some shit like that. If you just keep on fucking pushing me and pushing me and pushing me, then I may snap like that. But I, I, I haven't done that so far. So but I, but I do acknowledge that there is a chance that I could do it if. A motherfucker was just provoking me to that high degree. But but like I try not to do that. Most of the time, I don't even try to argue. I just really, if a girl wants to argue with me, I just I just let her talk. Because that's another thing about women. When women argue, they don't let you fucking talk. They just keep, well, hey, can I say something? Like, like, like they don't they don't shut the fuck up. They're going to keep talking. That's how women are. They, they they don't shut the fuck up. They're going to keep running their fucking mouth. You can't even get one word out your fucking mouth before they cut you off. They're like the dude from Friday. What's his name? No, nah, it's not. <laughs> Remember when Craig uh, was was at the record shop? And then he said, he said, who are you? He said, oh, my name. All right, say something, nickel. Say, say, say one more thing, nickel. You know, just cut you clean the fuck. You can't say nothing. Little motherfucker gonna try to rob me. Well, I'm gonna show you how we do it up here in Pinkies, nigga. I wasn't trying to rob Shut you. Shut up! Before I bust a cap up in your ass. Now, what you done done with Day Day and Roach? Day Day is my pe- Shut up! Now, who sent you, nigga? 
Nobody send me. Say another motherfucking word and this shit is over. And I ain't playing, nigga. Nah. You ain't got no gun. But where the weed at? I ain't got no weed. Shut the fuck, shut Did I say sh No! I, oh, shit! Say it again. Say something else. Oh! Say something else. Say something else, nigga. You may have even observed that with your own mother. A lot of mothers, you, you, they, they can't even, they won't even let you get one word out your mouth before they cut you clean off. Like you can't even say, you can't say nothing. So a lot of times when it comes to women, once they start their little bitch fits, I just don't even say nothing. I, I just let them keep talking. Especially a lot of, <laughs> yeah, especially a lot of black mothers are like that. You can't get one word out your damn mouth. So when a girl is having a bitch fit, I just don't even say nothing because there's no point in you saying something. They're just going to keep talking and talking and talking. They're going to keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. Now that you get one fucking word out your goddamn mouth. So when they do that, I just, just, I, I just, I just shut the fuck up. There's no point in me saying nothing because I can't, you're not allowing me to talk. See, when, when, when I confront somebody, I say, I, I say, I say what I have to say and then I let, and I let them say, Hey, okay. So how can you explain that? Or what's your thoughts on that? And then I let them say something. I don't just keep on babbling, babbling, babbling and don't, and don't let the other person get a fucking word out. They just want to just, they, they just want to just unload a clip of this bullshit out their mouth and you can't say nothing back. They, they want to give you a full clip of nonsense, a full clip of bullshit and a extended clip of irrationality. Right. You know. A lot of girls that are mentally unstable, they will say things that they either they don't truly mean it or they on some other shit. I don't fucking know, bro. Really, with any woman, you should never move in with a woman and 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 uh and you know and and that's her house. You should never do some shit like that. One thing that I can say about women is that you know. A lot of women, a lot of women do be on their shit. That's one thing about women that I can't say. Like they do be in school, they do be working, they do be trying to, they do be trying to put shit. They they do be trying to be on their shit as far as money. I I can't say that. They be trying to be nurses and all the other shit. Like they do be trying to be on their shit when it comes to oh trying to get the bills paid. They do. You know. A lot of women, they, they they do have work ethic. A lot of them that I've been noticing, they do. I can't say that, but you know. But um, like I said, like like uh, never let. I mean, I mean, this ain't even just for women that are that are mostly unstable. Just never let a woman. First and foremost, never live, in, never move in with a girl. Let's say she got her own crib and you move in. Never do that. Because like I said, women are already emotional. So once she get mad, she's going to kick you right the fuck out. Get the fuck out of my fucking house. Don't do that shit. Have your own crib or if you want to move her in with you, you y'all, y'all, either she move in with you or y'all get a place together. Better yet, it's actually it's better if both of y'all just get a place together so both of y'all have equal leverage as a because even if you a girl moving with a nigga, he can still do the same shit to you. Kick you out if he gets mad. So it's best y'all both come in and y'all and it's both of y'all places. So y'all both have the equal amount of leverage. Always have don't give her all the fucking leverage. Don't do that shit. Don't do it. Don't let any woman of any kind. Pay all the bills. What, what you shouldn't do that any motherfucking way. You should. You, I mean, that's just you know. 
that's just, you know, that's just bogus anyways. But the thing is, see, that's the thing about see, women. See, men have, men have provided for women for years. Worked. They got, got to be the housewife. Once a woman is put in that man's role, they can't do it. They can't do that. Not saying that a man should, not saying that you as a man, you, sh you should let a woman provide for you. But they can't do that. Let's say if a dude, uh, he was providing for the woman for 10 years. But then he did. But somehow, let's say this was during the this this was during the the pandemic, where he just got he lost his job because of just that's just what happened with the economy. He just lost his job because of the you know the C nineteen, and he stops providing for a little while. But maybe she you know a lot you know a lot of women they're in healthcare. But let's just say that she has she still has her job. And now she's paying the bills temporarily until he's able to get another job. They're gonna bitch. Like, like, like they're gonna start bitching that they're just with that they're just holding down the fort just for a little bit of time. They're gonna start bitching. They're gonna start the bitch. A woman that's put in the man in the man's role, they're not going to be able to handle that. A lot of women these days, they think that men are are superhuman, that we can't fall on hard times. That potentially you can't possibly, you know, have an in, like let's say that you work construction and you and uh and and you ain't stuttering and you injure yourself and you know and you just trying to heal up before you go back to work or you just lost your job for whatever reason whether it was the 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 back during the c19 or your boss fired you for whatever fucking reason and they can't just hold down the fucking fort while you try to get back on your feet they're going to let you know they're going so, some of them may actually hold down the fort, but they're going to let you know that you're just a fucking bum ass motherfucker while they're holding down that fort. Well, motherfucker, you don't got a fucking job. You ain't you, you don't got no job. You ain't fucking working. I'm paying the bills. You get mad. Well, I'm the one paying the fucking bills, even though you've been paying the bills for 10 fucking years. They pay the bills for th th three fucking months. Now they make it seem like it's just the end of the fucking world. And that's just what, what women do. Right? Once you fall out of that traditional male uh, role or, yeah, that traditional male role for just a short period of time. It's not like you just going, just, oh, I'm just going to not work and I'm just going to just let the woman just pay all my bills and do everything. If, if that's the case, she has the right to talk shit about you. But if it's just, okay, you've been paying the bills for like 10 years or whatever, or a decent amount of time, and, and just something happens where you on your ass for like a couple months, and they start bitching about some shit, that's some bullshit. Once they start, once you leave that male role for just a short period of time, they start, some women will start to demasculate you. Oh, you ain't shit. You a bum. You ain't, you ain't providing shit. You ain't paying shit. And they feel that they could step all over you because you ain't paying nothing. Right? It's kind of similar to my old video titled, Don't Let Somebody Take Care of You or some shit. Uh, I forgot the name of it. But yeah, once you're not providing some sort of financial stability, people feel that they don't have to respect you no more because, they're, because you ain't providing no money. You're not supplying any income. So they feel, oh, we don't got to respect such and such because he ain't providing nothing. He's a liability. So why the fuck we got to respect him for? He ain't, he ain't contributing to nothing. And then some people lie. You know, even some women lie. Oh, I don't mind if my man don't got money. Bullshit. Be, be with the woman long enough and you ain't making no fucking money. Be with, be with any woman long enough and you ain't making no money.
Let's see if she still holds true to that to that statement. Let's see. See, 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 things about some people, and it's not just women. It's people in general. A lot of people like they say shit, just be like like they may say things that they really don't believe, because they don't want to come off. They, they don't want to. They don't want to come off some type of way. It's kind of like a girl who's a hoe. She's not going to just announce to the world, "Oh yeah, I'm a hoe. I like fucking." multiple men. I like to ride the dick of multiple men every day. She's not going to say that. She's going to pretend that she's not like that. Or some people, they would, some women, they may like to believe that. They they may want to believe, oh, I, I don't, oh, it doesn't matter if my man don't got money. They may want to believe that. They may want to believe that, but deep down, they don't even know that they really don't believe that. <laughs> You know they want to, but they but they don't even know that they really don't believe that. Cause you cause you see certain videos of men asking women certain questions on the street, doing little public interviews, and some women they say shit. And I'm not saying that every all those women are lying, but they're I'm pretty sure some of them are capping. I don't care if a man don't got bullshit. Be with a woman long enough, and you don't got no money. Be with any woman long enough, and you ain't got no fucking money. Let's see how long that fucking lasts. You don't got nothing. Let's let's see about that. I'm not saying that's all women, but a decent amount. If you if you don't have the money long enough, I'm say hey man, it's probably gonna be over before you know it. I'm just I'm just letting you know, right? I'm not saying that's every single woman, but hey, e- even if she still bees with you, but and you don't got nothing, she gonna talk shit about you. You're you're broke. You, you know, all you do is lay down and not do this. I think even um, I think even in Baby Boy, uh, uh, he he was dating Yvette, Jody, and yeah, jo- Yvette still loved Jody. Just because you broke don't mean the girl ain't gonna love you. But I'm saying she gonna she gonna talk shit about you being broke. I'm not saying this because you broke a girl can't ain't gonna love because because love ain't a love is not connected to finance. You you love someone for who they are. It's not about money. But a, a girl can still love you, even and you broke than a motherfucker, but she gonna talk shit about your motherfucking ass. Uh, you, nigga, you a broke ass nigga. She gonna nigga nigga she gonna let you know that you broke. She not just gonna just not say nothing about it. She gonna let you know you broke. So I'm not saying love equals money, cause that no, cause that's superficial. Right? But yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And and even a lot of girls that that uh that date these thug ass niggas that don't work and they ain't making no money. Usually when when the girls get a little bit older, they like, "Okay, this ain't work." Cuz cuz how many 50-year-old, how many 40 to 50-year-old women do you see trying to date thugs? You don't see that. That those are those are more so younger women. Teenagers, early 20s. I want me a little thug motherfucker. You know, those are younger girls. When a girl gets a little older, it's like, okay, this nigga, he ain't working. He ain't provide. All right, I got to find me a nigga that got a job. You know, then they start to change their mindset towards that shit. They want a man that got a little bit more stability. You know, okay, yeah, I'm attracted to this, but I got to move past this. And they move and they lose the attraction for that. And they find something. They, now they want a man that actually got a job, got a career going on. Those, those little young bitches. They're like, I want me a little thug nigga. Now I'm talking about nigga. Right. Those little teen girls, early 20 women. Those are just little teeny boppers, right? And, and young women, right? But unfortunately, a lot of these girls, once they get that change of mind, a lot of them already have kids. They already have the offspring of these hood ass niggas. They already have the seed of these niggas. And then they want to take their kids and then find the nice guy that they rejected. And then now they want to, hey, hey. Now they want to text you hey big head hey big head when she got five three four kids by four different motherfuckers she got three kids by four niggas she got hey listen what i said she got three kids by four niggas that don't make that don't make sense but hey that, that's how these hoes be you know what i'm talking about right how many 50 year 40 to 50 year women do you see dating dating uh fucking pookie you don't see that shit that's those little young girls doing that Right, so yeah, eventually a woman gonna get tired of a nigga not making no fucking dough. That's that. I'm just letting you know. If you're not making no dough, they gonna get tired of your motherfucking ass. You ain't, you ain't making no paper. For me personally, 
if if I was rich, I I'll just take care of the woman. I she wouldn't even have to even pay nothing. That's just me. If I had it, hey, you don't even gotta work, bitch. I I take care of everything. You know. Uh. Like with my girl in particular, like, like if I was rich, I I just take care of everything. You don't even gotta pay nothing. I'll pay all, pay it all, cause I have the means to do so. But because we are born in this world, parents ain't passed down nothing, no inheritance. These jobs ain't paying. Hey, my, my fuck, we gotta go fifty fifty. But that's only because that's just due to my financial situation. If I was rich, I would be paying. I wouldn't even pay. I pay for every motherfucking thing. Right. I wouldn't even um. You know, that's just me. That's the the male, males we want to provide. That's that's just that's just in the male's nature. We we, we want to provide. Males want to feel needed or feel that we can offer something. Right. So it goes back to the same thing of what I said. Money equals respect in this world. You got to have money just to even get respect from your partner. That's the crazy part about it. If you if you're not making money, especially as a male. Your, your partner ain't going to respect you for that. They may still love you. Oh, I love you. But they're not going to respect you. They may still love you. You know, they may, you know, if you needed them to, you know, they may still love you. I'm not saying that they, but they're not going to respect you. It's the same thing with family. If you have a family that talk shit because you don't got a job or you're broke. They still love you, but they're going to talk shit about, oh, fuck you, motherfucker. You broke, motherfucker. But I love you, though. You know, that's how it's going to be. Uh, just understand that as a man, you have to always be providing something. If you don't, if you for one second ain't providing shit, it's over for your motherfucking ass. That's just what it is. It's over. But even if you are providing something, things can still happen. Cause, Cause, look at people who are rich and they got all this money, and some can still go wrong with the relationship. I mean, just because you got money doesn't mean that the relationship is automatically protected one hundred percent. Anything can happen, and it, it can break the foundation of the relationship with any fucking thing. So, just because you got money don't mean nothing. But I'm just saying that's just another factor. Cause I believe the cause of marriage, half of the reason why people, like I think the most reason why marriages fail is either financial or. Or, or infidelity. It's either niggas is broke or niggas is cheating. <laughs> That's the main reason. Either niggas is broke or niggas is cheating. And most divorces are initiated by women. Women are ones that, you know what, it's over. Right? They're the ones that end that shit most of the time. If I'm not mistaken. So that's just what it is. And this is why I truly that this is why I don't really like if if you are going to mess with the woman, keep them at arm's length. Keep them at a keep them at arm's length. Don't listen to what your emotions. Oh, well, my emotions are telling me to date her. Nah, nigga, keep her at arms at an arm's length. I'm not saying I'm not saying to treat women like shit. That's not that, that's not the message of this video. Treat women like that. that that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, keep them at an arm's length. Keep them at an arm's length. Yeah, y'all can still be cool. Y'all can still, y'all can still talk and stuff. Y'all can still be cool. I'm not saying just treat the treat girls like garbage, like the, you know, like, uh, like the red pill, like the manosphere. Lie to girls. Oh, I love you, but you don't love. Them. I'm not saying do that dumb shit. I'm just saying just keep them at a distance. <clears throat> you have your own crib. She has her own crib. Y'all maybe y'all maybe hang out on the weekends. And then during the weekday or whatever, she goes on about her business and you go on about your business. Sometimes maybe sh uh she can invite you to her house. Sometimes you invite her to your house. Y'all kick it, cook, watch a movie, hang out. I'm not saying that cuz that you know as a man that that is in your nature. Th that is in your nature to want a woman. I'm not saying to treat women like garbage. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Just keep them at a distance. That's all I'm saying. Keep keep them at a distance. Keep them back. <laughs> keep them. Push them back a little bit. That's all I'm saying. Because once you uh, 
just for, just from my experience with women, once you bring them in too close, you see how much of a disaster it is. You know? Nobody got time to deal with a woman's emotions. Nobody got time to deal with that. Even though I'm attracted to women, I understand that women, a lot of women are full of bullshit. A lot of women have problems. We, well, we, I mean, I mean, all of us have problems. I'm not saying I don't have no fucking I, I have problems too. But it's not to the same degree as a, a, a lot of these women. <laughs> But mo most of my problems are more so are more so are more so external. It's more external. Oh, my problem is being broke or not being able to find a job or uh, it's more external. It's not really internal like that. It's more so external. Just the factors that are outside of my control that I can't fuck. It's more external factors. It's not, oh, I'm a fucking narcissist, so I have to fix that. Oh, I'm a fucking abuser. I have to fix that. Oh, I'm a fucking douchebag. I have No, it's more so external. Oh, I, I, I need some more cash in my pocket. Oh, I need, you know, it's more stuff. You know, it's not stuff. It's not internal. That's why I say it's really best, you know, to be asexual. But you really can't, but you can't make, you can't make yourself like that. You're born how you're born. The reason why we're attracted to one another as male and female is because it's just our body's, you know, evolution. Oh, be attracted to this woman, sleep with her, get her pregnant so the human species can keep living. That's all that, that that's really all that it is. It, it, if you boil it down, love it really a aspect of love is really just evolution. Oh, you have to get, you have to shoot your semen inside of this ovary or inside this egg. So the human species is really just survival. I'm not saying that's all the love. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that's all that love is because obviously like you could you can deeply care about a girl or care about somebody. But a part of it is just you survival. Oh, I have to shoot semen into this egg because that because because the human body wants to because the human body just wants to spread it just wants to keep populating and keep living on and on and on and on and on right so a part of that is just evolution so but really in reality because even even back then, even when I was dating, when I used to date, I had knew that a lot of girls was on bullshit. But yet I'm still trying to date because why? I'm a human and I'm a male and males want to attract women. Males want to be have some sort of involvement with women. But in reality, when you really look back, it's really pointless. Most of the girls I've talked to in my life was worthless. The majority of them, but yet I'm still, oh, what's up? You know, texting them or answering their calls and all of this shit because why I'm a man. Sometimes you just want someone to talk to or sometimes or sometimes to be honest, or sometimes you just want to just bust a nut. So it's like, <laughs> and this is another example of mind versus body. You can know that girls, a lot of girls I'm not saying that every single one, but you can know that a lot of girls is on bullshit, but yet you're still drawn to them because you have that evolutionary trait of, oh, I got to survive. So I have to get this girl pregnant. Even though I'm an anti-natalist and I don't believe in that, to be honest, every time you get horny, the 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 main reason for that is to just get someone pregnant that's the main the, what happens when you reach climax you 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 shoot semen you shoot sperm 
that's really the horniness is just your body trying to reproduce. That's all that it is. And this is to go even further beyond. Really having a relationship, to be honest, really the correct way, quote unquote, quote unquote, the correct way, quote unquote, is only, just like Jedi said, is only for a family. You have to, oh, have a relationship so 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 y'all could be a mother and father to 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 offspring y'all could be a mother and father to offspring that's the, that's the whole purpose of a relationship oh we have to we have to be together so we can be the, so we can uh be a unit for our offspring that we're going to have that's why most people are heterosexual and that's the really the main purpose of a relationship most in most situation a relationship leads to kids being born the whole purpose of that is to be a mother and father to kids. That's the whole purpose of it. So technically, if you're an anti-natalist, having a relationship is pointless. But it's understandable, even though as, as, as an anti-natalist, you're trying to fight against your human, you're trying to fight against your human biology, you still can't fully beat your human biology you're just trying to fight against it as much as you can but you still can't fully beat it you're gonna always get hungry you're gonna always get thirsty you're gonna always get horny you can't fully beat you you can't fully beat your human biology you're just trying to fight against it right The damn, the damn slave buses, the slave buses are, have come, the prison buses. Right. I got a bisectomy. So if I do give in to my human desire of sex, I don't get no one pregnant. I still have the urges of a animal. I'm, I'm still an animal. I'm just a more conscious animal. I'm I'm a more civilized animal. I don't just fucking you know animals, you know, when they fucking hunt, they do, some animals they 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 fucking eat an animal while they're still alive. You know, they'll still eat an animal while it's still fucking breathing. That, that's fucked up. You know? Uh, you know, if uh if I'm gonna go hunt you know, I'm going to kill an animal, kill it first, then I'm going to eat it. And then, then I'm going to cook it, then eat it. I'm not going to fucking eat it while I'm still fucking breathing. That's fucked. That, that's just that's just uncompassionate. Even though it's, it, it's still fucked up that, that we kill animals to eat any damn way. But I'm going to at least do that. That's a little bit more compassionate, right? I'm not just going to fucking just eat an animal while I'm still alive. So I, I'm still an animal too. I'm just more civilized. You know, I still like to have sex. I still like to smell girls' assholes and shit. Right? I'm an animal. Like how dogs smell asses and shit. I'm the same. Shit. I like to smell ass sometimes. I'm an animal. Right? I, I'm not finna hide. Oh, nigga. A lot of people can't even be real with themselves. You're a fucking animal. You're just a more conscious animal. I'm an animal, though. I'm just more conscious, more civilized, motherfucker. Shit.
But yeah. You know? Really. Uh, even though I'm in a relationship, it's really kind of pointless if we're if we're not trying to have kids. But like I said before, uh even though you're, you're antenatalist, you still can't beat your human biology. You're still going to have attraction. You're still going to, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, have attraction. You're still going to want to have sex. You're still going to want to have a companion, right? It's just what it is. The reason why most people are not uh, most pe the reason why most people are not gay is because that's not because because the human race can't survive like that. That's why being gay is su is such a minority because that's not the proper way of a human to behave. Not saying that I'm against it. It's actually better to be gay than straight because wanna know why? No kids are being born. So I I actually think being gay is actually better than being straight. Whether you're lesbian or le whether you like man but it's actually better to like that than actually like the opposite gender. No kids are being made. But the reason why most humans are not gay is because what well, we would have, you know, if that was the case, I wouldn't even be here. I I, I wouldn't have even been conceived. Which I wish would have happened to begin with. So if the, if if all the human species was gay, I wish that shit was true and we all just would have died out. But it's not the case. So I feel like gay is is it, it, it could possibly if you're gay, you're possibly a anomaly. You're a anonymous a anonymous anonymous. A, I just said it right the first time. Anonymously, 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 anomaly. Uh, yeah, anonymously, anon. Anonymously, anonymously, An fuck it. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker. Right? You're a anomaly. There we go. Anonym. Fuck it. Right? Something I don't know. My theory, maybe something could have happened with your hormones or whatever, because we all we all start off as fucking females in the you know. We all start off as females any goddamn way before we turn into into what we before we turn into a male. That's why we have nipples, which they serve no function. Whereas women, they have nipples and it and it's for breastfeeding. A dick is just a larger clit. That's all that a dick is. We we, we used to be females before we turn into men. We're like fucking splice, right? Where people people say that Halle Bailey looks like Splice, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? A dick is just a longer version of a clit. If you see if you see a woman's clit, a clit is like a small it, it it's like a small version of a dick. Look at a girl's clit. It's like a small. Basically, a dick is just a clit pushed all the way out. It's just like a dick is a lar larger version of a clit. It's the same shit. That's why when girls masturbate, they fucking play with that clit. Oh my god! They fucking, they fucking, they fucking, they fucking put their finger in their mouth and then put. Oh my god! I'm coming! Oh my god! Cause it's basically like a fucking cock, motherfucker. Or, or in, be in, uh, in better words, our dick is like a big clit, motherfucker. That, that's why we stroke that motherfucker, bitch ass nigga. Right, but yeah, man. Yeah. Um, I just got into a whole nother fucking. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what my point was. Uh. But yeah, man. If I could transcend, which I already said this before. If I could transcend all of this humanly shit, I would do that. Transcend sexual urges. Transcend sexual urges, hunger. The need, uh, uh, the, uh, the, oh, damn. The need and desire for a mate, I would get rid of that because the whole purpose of that is just to have kids, right? 
I'll just get rid of that shit because there's no point of doing it. Or I wouldn't mind having a mate if both of us was perfect. If I was perfect and if they were perfect. That way it wouldn't be no arguments, no fucking bickering and none of that shit. Because we're both perfect beings. We're both perfect. So there's not going to be any confusion. No, we're both not bound to the flaws of being a human being. Maybe I wouldn't mind that in that case. And yes, this is not, you know, and this video was not targeted towards my partner. I still love my partner, but I acknowledge the fact that Relationships are pointless. <laughs> that's basically what I'm acknowledging. I'm not saying that, oh, you know, that's not what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, it's, it's, it's just crazy. You know, I'm just a human being like everyone else trying to figure out this life bullshit, man. Even though I never asked to be in this stupid ass planet. I'm trying to figure out this bullshit just like the rest of everyone else. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, what else can I say? Because this was a video. It was talking about emotionally unstable women or something. What else do they do? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, just, you know... I don't know, bro. Like I said, it, it's really just best, like I said, to keep women at, at an arm's length. Y'all could be cool, you know, hang out, have fun sometime. Y'all want to get nasty. I want to get drunk and nasty, right? You do that, but then y'all just keep at a distance. Even though eventually a lot of women, they're going to start asking, hey, you know, I think we should be together and all of that. You know, like they're going to start asking. <laughs> and if you tell them, nah, I'm just trying to be cool with you, that's it. The problem with that is they're going to eventually find another dude that is going to want to be with them. And then you're going to be a little jealous. Like, oh, fuck, man. I should have fucking asked her out. But really, that's not what you wanted. But some girl, some men, they um, they ask girls out just because they don't want her to leave for someone else. Even though they, they really don't want to date the girl, they don't want her to leave. Because imagine if I was with a chick and I really don't want to date her because I don't want to date anyone. But she's like, oh, I want to date. Oh, my God. I want you to be my boyfriend. Right? And I'm like, uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to keep it cool with you, shouty. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Hey, shouty, I'm trying to be cool with you. And then she she tried to talk. Well, why? Why you can't? You know, you know, uh, like, she, she may try to talk you into it. But then you keep saying no. She'll finally get the point, And she'll find someone else. And then she'll just cut you off. But but then that sucks because you'll get jealous. Like, oh, fuck, man. I still want her to be around. But, hey, it is what it is. In the day, you can't. It, this this goes back to stoicism. Only person's actions that, that you can control is yours, and that's kind of selfish. Hey, if she, if she wants a, a partner and you don't want that, let them go. Let them let them get that. But on the flip side, a woman shouldn't also try to convince a person to date them either. That's also selfish on their side as well. If a person says no, means no. That's being selfish to keep somebody around 
just for your own benefit. If, if, if they don't, if you don't want a relationship and they do, you got to let them go. And remember, if you're a, another example, if you're a man and you are an anti-natalist, you, you are an anti-gayalist and you're talking to a chick that wants to have kids and you don't want to have kids, just look, you have to realize eventually y'all going to stop talking. And she's going to eventually find a man who wants kids like her. And she's going to get pregnant and start a family with someone else. She doesn't understand that. That interaction that y'all are having is just temporary. It's just it's just mom, momentarily. If a girl really wants kids, she's going to say, oh, well, okay, well, he doesn't want kids. And she's going to stop talking to you. Because I, cause I was talking to a girl last year. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Damn. Uh, talked to a girl last year. Around this same time. <coughs> and she said she wanted kids. Um, I didn't tell her that I was anti that I was anti-natalist, but uh she wanted kids. So I mean me and her stopped talking, but let's just say if we continue to talk, that shit wouldn't have lasted any damn way. It it wouldn't have lasted any damn way because She's going to real eventually, she's going to say, oh, I want to have kids. Oh, my God. I would have said, no, nah, I don't want that shit. What? And then she's going to say, well, I have to find someone else who wants kids. And then she's going to leave me for a nigga and have a, start a family with someone else. So that's just what it is. So if you're anti-natalist and you don't want kids, man, whereas most women and men want kids, whether you're a female, whether you're a female anti-natalist or a male anti-natalist, it's only a matter of time before that person wants to leave and go start a family and with a breeder and leave you in the dust. So understand if you're interacting with a normie or because sometimes yeah, you, yeah, you're talking to a normie because, because some, cause a lot of, a lot of antinatalists, they, they do date normies or they do associate with normies because most of the world is fucking normies. So even the girls that I talked to in the past, they were normies. They, they wasn't they wasn't conscious. So if you're talking to a normie and you're not following the traditional get married, have kids thing, it's only a matter of time before they leave you in the dust and go start a fucking family. So you got you got, you got to look at every interaction with a male or female as, oh, this is just temporary. You already know <laughs> because I ain't trying to have no fucking kids. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's temporary. Yeah. Everything in life is temporary for the most part. Everything. You know? <laughs> Even if a relationship is temporary because either somebody's going to break up with each other or once y'all die, possibly that's that's the end of the relationship. That's the end of it. Either either some either one of y'all is going to break up or once the, someone dies, that's the end of the relationship. Unless that unless we all go to afterlife and that transcends to, to the another to the another consciousness. But who knows about that? But if it is truly non-existence, once that once someone dies, their, their relationship is over with. Some people say, "I want to be with you forever." You're 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 just talking about just our human lifespan, because it because you can't be with somebody forever, unless somehow that transcends into the afterlife, if that does exist. So really, what you mean forever is just our human lifespan. Right? So. <laughs> Man, life is just, it's just trash as fuck, bro. <laughs> God damn. Man. And that's another thing about life, man. It's like with life, it's, it's like there's just so many things coming at you all at once. It's not like life. It's just one thing at a time. Okay, it's just this, this, and it, it, like it's one thing at a time. Life is multiple things coming at you at once. You got the bills coming at you. You got maybe drama with your family. You got family drama. You may have problems with your dating life if you're dating people. <laughs> you may have problems if you got health problems. It, it, or what? It, it's like with life. You're just, and that's the thing about life. Life is, you know, it's not a one-on-one -on -one battle it's like you're being jumped with all 
kind of things all at once. It's not like it's not like life. You can. It's not like life allows you just to tackle one thing at once. Okay, I'm gonna just tackle the bills and that's it. Everything else is straight. Oh, I can just tackle the health problems. It. Everything else is straight. Oh, I can just tackle the problem with the relationship and that's. It's like you gotta tackle everything at once. You gotta tackle the health problems. Uh, the fucking the health problems, the money problems, the, the relationship problems, the family problems, the whatever problems you have. And you got to tackle that shit all at once. It's like, damn, life, you got to multitask. You can't just focus on one thing. You got to just do it all, it all at once. It's ridiculous, man. And in this life, you got to put money before everything. You got to put money before your friends, money before your family, and even money before your own self. You have to put, you even have to put money above yourself. If you don't feel like going to work today, oh, I don't feel like going to work today. You still have to do it because you still have to put that money before yourself. Because if you don't, no bills get paid. So, you, so you, you even have to put this man-made paper, even over the most important person that matters in the world, yourself. That's a crazy thing about it. And then emotionally, uh, what's the word? Uh, emotionally uh, damaged women or whatever, they're very childish. If they don't get their way one time. Or a few times, you just tell them no once or twice. Like I don't really feel like that today. They 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 throw a bitch fit. They 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 throw a temper tantrum, and some will even go as far as to say I'm leaving all because you said, hey, tonight I really don't want to. Uh, you know, tonight I want to do. Uh, I want to uh, hang out with hang out with the boys tonight, or even just hang out by your hang out by yourself but tonight. You know, I just want to be hang by myself tonight. Tomorrow, you know, we can go. Uh, go do activity, but right now I just want to be by myself. Oh, and they'll get mad, and some will even try to start an argument and say, "Oh, I'm leaving." Well, if you can't give me the attention that I want, I'm leaving, making it seem like you never given her attention. I mean, you always gave her attention. You know, you always gave her attention. It was always there, available, but it's just sometimes you don't want to be smothered. And this goes back to my last video. You don't want to be smothered by a woman all the fucking time. You just want, sometimes you don't, don't even want to be around them sometimes. What person do you, do you want to be around all the fucking time? Even your own family. The reason why you move out your mom's house or your dad's house or your parents' house, you because know, you don't want to be up under them all the fucking time. You want to see them when you're ready to see them. You don't want to be under your mom and dad all the time. That's why you move. That's why you move out of the house. You feel me? So that's right there too. They 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 want to pressure you to uh, always be be around them, and if they don't get their way one motherfucking time, it's going to be a problem. Or, or I'm leaving. Well, uh, you know, I can find someone else that's going to give me the give me the love that I want. And it's like, bro, what are you talking about? Like, for example, the girl I'm talking about, uh, uh, I was talking to this dude, shit, you know, I, I was hanging out with her the whole night. I was hanging out with her the entire night. I talked to like a dude, I was talking to him for maybe about, maybe about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. I left her for about 10, 15 minutes. And then... I fucking grab a slice of pizza and, you know, I come back to her and she's like, oh, why did you leave me? You know, why did you leave me by myself? And the the, the, the plate of pizza in my hand, she fucking flips it out my motherfucking hand. It falls on the floor. And then another part of that story that pissed me off, there's this dude who walks by me. And he says, aren't you going to pick that up? Like, that shit pissed me the fuck off because I'm like, nigga, I wasn't the one that fucking knocked it on the fucking floor. She did. She should pick the fuck up. His ass pissed me off when he said that shit. Aren't you going to pick that up? No, motherfucker. I didn't knock it on the fucking floor. Dumbass motherfucker. So, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Very codependent. Very needy. You can't... You just want to do your own thing just for a little bit of time. Or whatever, and they throw a bitch fit. It's like, bro, get the fuck out of here, man. You can't be alone away from me for 15 minutes? Like, my God. 
like at times they can be very needy and then at times they can be very isolating like there could be times where they can be very needy and codependent and then other days where they just want to just go ghost and just cut you clean off and just disappear like they never existed they can do that too because that's what she also did as well uh, uh one minute oh uh, yeah all of, uh, one all up under me and then next minute she just disappears like the fucking avatar right so they could do both they could be all up on you and then next minute they just want to disappear uh, block you on all social media, change their number, and uh, even if a person wasn't mentioning you, they'll say, "Oh, I don't, I don't know who that is." <laughs> like, like you know, it's kind of like they want to, like uh, they want to uh, re- restart their life over again, which is nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with restarting your life, but <clears throat> but um, they just want to just completely cut you out of it, which that's fine if that's what you want to do. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that shit wild. But uh, what else do they do, man? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of more shit. You know, some. I mean, I never really been physically abused by a woman, but um, yeah, some will uh put their hands on you too. Um, well, she actually did put her. I mean, she was playing, but like I kept telling her to stop doing it, and she kept doing it. But that was the only time she did that shit. You know, because cause, I mean, like, like I, I kept telling her to stop doing it. And she kept doing it. She kept, like, smacking me in my face. And she was playing, quote, unquote, but I kept telling her to stop. And I, and, she, and she probably did that shit probably, like, 16 times. I'm like, bro, if she slaps me in my eyeball, it's like my left eye. I'm like, bro, if she smacked me in my eyeball one more time, I'm finna smack the shit out of this motherfucking girl. I was finna, I was finna, I, no, I think I was probably gonna punch her in her stomach or something. Because she kept fucking doing it. I said, fucking stop hitting me, bro. You know, so she did do that shit that one time. That shit kept pissing me. I'm like, bro, if she hit me one more fucking time, my eyeball, I'm about, to, I'm, I'm about to punch this bitch. <laughs> Thank God she didn't do it again, but I, I was going to do that shit because I kept telling her to stop doing it. So, uh, but yeah, but that was just that one incident. But some of them, yeah, they they can be abusive in some situations. Put their hands on you and stuff, throw stuff at you. Uh, some can be crazy and try to stab you or something, and that's like ultimate level. I never dealt with like an ultimate level v- version of that, so that's like ultimate level. But they could do that too if it's like the extreme level of that. Cause, I mean, because there's, there, there's different levels to this shit. It's not just all of them act. All of I'm not saying all of them will, will have every single quality of these, but they could have some qualities that I just listed and stuff like that. But yeah. Not saying they'll have every single quality. Some could have every single quality of what I just said. It's a good chance they could have a decent amount of these qualities. May not be every single one, but a decent amount. But, yeah. And some of them will try to tarnish your reputation or tarnish your image by proclaiming that you was a monster and you was just a piece of shit and abusive, but... All that shit is in their head. It's just their brain is not functioning properly. Their brain, they they just have a lot of mental problems. A lot of mental problems and they can't fucking think right. So even though in reality you was actually a good person. I'm not saying you was perfect. You know, there's things you're going to do that's not right. But overall, you was a good person. But they're going to tell people that you was a piece of shit. People tend to believe the story of the first person that told it, so they're going to most likely take her side, and they're going to look at you side-eyed, like, okay, what the fuck, when in reality, it was just a bunch of shit, a bunch of crap, a bunch of bull crap. Shout out to William Jones, right? So, yeah. Another thing about women that are emotionally unstable is they are very insecure in themselves. They think they're ugly. They think that they're not attractive. They think that you can tell them you're beautiful and they don't believe it. Oh, I don't believe I'm ugly as look at this. And they can be fine than a motherfucker. Be fine as fuck and think they ugly as shit. Think their body is ugly as fuck, but they have a fat ass. They got nice tits. They find it a motherfucker. They scrumptious. They, 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 they fucking scrumptious, but, but they think that they have ugly than a motherfucker. Now, we all have insecurities. None of us are, uh, not, uh, none of us are 
100% confident in ourselves. We all have our insecurities. We all get nervous. Right? We all we all can sometimes doubt ourselves. So we all have insecurities sometimes, but a, a, a emotionally unstable girl, they are controlled by insecurity. Oh my god. Like like they are controlled by it. It's not like okay, like for me, I have insecurities, but I'm not fucking controlled and just dominated dominated by that shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I gotta say, I'm out. I really, really enjoy looking at attractive women. Like I wanna see every version of an attractive woman, you know, high, short, tall, long, skinny, big girl, small girl, all pretty stuff. I, I could do that all day. I could just, just sit and look at shit, you know what I mean? But you know, I don't want them to come too close to me. Don't come to me, don't stay over there. But yeah, but it's a pretty ass because you're probably crazy as a motherfucker and you'll fuck up everything.